everyone, Tiny One Badger here, and there are mosquitoes everywhere. Do you want some mosquito spray? It's just... I don't want to be out here filming right now, but I have to because I haven't done a video in a while. But you don't care about our awful ecosystem, you care about Cherry Blossom, whose eyeballs I made in a tutorial. And this just so happens to be the pair of the eyeballs that I made. And the vision, phenomenal. But she also has another set of eyes, which are in her head right now. The things you can say as a fursuit maker, but can't say as a person. Anyway, uh, they're in her head right now, and I'm going to kind of give you a comparison of the head with the two different sets of eyes. One is more in my style, and one is the more stereotypical angel dragon style, and I really like both of them, so I'm just going to make them Velcro in and out. Right now, you just kind of stick them in. But I'm rambling, so let's get on to me walking around and being cute in this fursuit head. Now these are the eyes that were just inside of Cherry Blossom, and as you can see, it's a dark, almost clear plastic that is right that I'm supposed to be seeing through, and when it's inside of Cherry Blossom, the inside of the head's dark, so you just get this like little black pupil. It's even darker than my hand behind it, which is kind of weird. Like if I cup my hand, you get more of the result because my head's slightly further away from the eye. And as you saw in that video, you could not see my eye through this, which was very nice. And the vision was just absolutely phenomenal. This is some of the best vision I've had in a fursuit head. And because of the huge ventilation in the mouth, uh, there's no fogging up. I haven't had any issues. And this is a pretty solid dome. It's not vinyl that you usually see in these eyes. And they're made with the same method that uh, the eyes that are in Cherry Blossom right now are made in. So I'm really split between which eyes to use. I'll probably just wind up switching them out. And Cherry Blossom can be known as the weird angel dragon that's eyes change for some reason. But... And I think this would look better in, like, photo shoots with groups of angel dragons, uh, now that there are five bajillion of them and everyone's hanging out in them, and I'm like, late on the wagon! Help! I'm falling behind! Anyway, you guys probably want to see me dip around in these eyes, too, so I will do that! <laughs> Okay, remind me never to walk around in a fursuit head on a hot day, like, ever again. Because that was awful and I'm out of shape. Anyways, uh, expect a full body out of Cherry Blossom within a couple weeks. And by a couple weeks, I mean, like, a year because I suck at updating. Anyway, a few more projects are on the horizon. I'm kind of cutting into them slowly through school because school is just a thing that exists. I've acquired a pre-made head that I'm going to be editing and you're... And I hope you guys like that. I've got a super secret project in the works for Furry Fiesta. 
Cherry Blossom will also be showing up at Furry Fiesta, by the way. And I've also been making my Hound Hour for Halloween because I was very inspired by Lex the Glider and Marzi Maine, who had this beautiful Hound Doom and Hound Hour duo that they showed off at Anthrocon. Go check those two out. I'll put links in the description to them because they're amazing and signal boost. Oh my gosh, these two are just fantastic. Uh, I really, really suck at ending my videos. So I'm gonna go, like, pass out because just, just, I'm so, like, done. I'm just so hot outside.